Here's our third race field set for a start. Off and pacing in a good beginning at the inside. Keystone Kalimba fires out for Jamison along with Watchful Eye from the outside and even wider alley corners on the gas pedal tonight. In at the railway fourth came Sound Idea. Then outside fifth is free. Flying ticket. She's pumped up early. She'll drop to a four hole. Coming away sixth going into the turn is Need Your Opinion. Further back at the inside to be up with them from in seventh. Karma Sealster off the press. The early trailer back in eighth. They arrive at the opening quarter. Filion's there. 26 and four. Right there in the pocket spot. Keystone Kalimba. Allie Korn was climbing over Jameson, and so Wah right lines her and says go. And Allie Korn explodes to the top here. She's tracked on the outside by free flying ticket, and she really wants to roll for jury. They come to the midway point next. Allie Korn is under attack as free flying ticket is rolling up alongside her, and now right by. So free flying ticket finds her way to the front in the back stretch. She's coming up to the half, and it should be a big one. You bet it is. 54 and 4. Philly's going along at a 28 second clip in that second quarter quarter and now they're on to the far turn. Free flying ticket leads it a length and a half. Alley Corn is right there. Second, third is Watchful Eye. It's Keystone Kalimba fourth now. Sound idea from fifth. Sixth need your opinion. Popping out seventh. Karma seals dirt. Trailing eighth is off the press. They're motoring to three quarters here as free flying ticket is still the leader. Leader by a length. Alley Corn is right there in the pocket spot from in second and they're by that three quarter marker. 123 and one. And they come into the stretch and still there with the lead at the inside free flying ticket. Alley Corn sprints by. And it's Alley Corn to take the lead now for Wah in deep stretch. Alley Corn is clear but closing down the center. Karma Seelster with late pace. So too is off the press. They're in deep stretch and still there. The one to try and track down is Alley Corn. Alley Corn is clear by two and the first OSS gold division goes to Alley Corn. What a trip she went and she scores in 151. An Ontario Sire Stakes record for Alley Corn. First OSS gold in the books for these rookie pacing fillies. Alley Corn dazzles. Uh, new OSS record, 151 flat. We've got Louis Waugh here and Chantel Mitchell. Uh, we'll speak with the winning connections. Louis, uh, I mean, this filly has shown talent, obviously, for the first two starts, but did you think she was capable of something like this and just start number three? Uh, like every start, she never got really tired at the end, so sometimes you don't know if you raise them a little tougher in the first half what they're going to do like the second half and uh, last time we had a bad post we did have a bad post against tonight but i said we're going to try to like change uh, change her luck and try something else because last time i took her to the back but she came back 26 didn't make that much ground on the other one on the other one because they, they were going slow fraction of the first half so even tonight down the lane uh, when i saw the other two coming on the far outside I just kicked the plugs and she still uh, gave me more, so she wasn't really tired. Well, I mean, just talk about her versatility. I, I, I think that's been the key. You showed she can race from off the pace and then do it just like this too. Oh yeah, she's she's nice to drive. She can do whatever you want. I, I remember I made the front, I think, in the, the condition race, the first start with her, and she was two finger. If, she, if you want her to relax, she'll relax. If you want her to go fast, she will. So that's a big quality for sure. Nice job. Thank you. All right, Chantel, you've got yourself another nice little better's delight here, don't you? Uh, you've had this one under your care, what, about a month, probably? Uh, give or take, yeah. And, I mean, are, are, how impressed are you that she's doing these kind of things already? Well, when she first showed up and you see how small she is, you wonder how fast can she really be. But after you sit behind her once or twice, you could just feel that she had speed in her. Now, did you have the confidence turning for home that she was still going to have the, the, the power and the fight that she had, considering that she was up front near all those fast fractions? When I saw the way she was sitting on Jonathan's back, I thought she looked pretty comfortable. And when he moved her, she moved She moved with confidence. So I, I, I was pretty confident. Now, she staked to everything. And she is a small filly, as you pointed out. So maybe Grand River's half mile would be great for her. Are you thinking Battle of the Bells? That's the next one. I'll have to talk with the partners and see what they're thinking because you'll ha we'll have to make some decisions somewhere as to what direction we're going to go with to give her the best opportunity for the entire year. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see how she comes out of this race and go from there.
Well, you told me out of one qualifier, you said she's a nice filly, and you weren't kidding. Well done. Thank you. All right, Chantal Mitchell's got Alicorn, a new OSS record holder with her 151 dazzling performance.